Sri Lanka, I'm from Sri Lanka and I write this song in night. Hi, I'm Juan Fernando Lara, I'm from Costa Rica, work in La Nación newspaper. I have been focusing primarily on loss and damage financing for countries of the global south, including Eastern countries, small island nations, and my own country, which suffered devastating floods this year. And outside of that, one other thing that I've been covering or been really, really focused on is how gender and climate change intersect and how without addressing the patriarchy, we cannot address the climate crisis. I've been following uh, much of the AOCs, uh, the uh, group of uh, small island developing uh, states also. Things uh, that uh, matter the most for small island states are like uh, the matters of the sea level rise and also on uh, biodiversity, the food system, agriculture. How the COP27 discussions are affecting the Middle East, so whether that's how the big Middle Eastern players are behaving at COP, so what Saudi Arabia is putting on the table, what the UAE is putting on the table, or how like climate-affected countries um, like Iraq or Palestine are doing. Climate refugees. Uh, as small island states with rising sea levels, a lot of our coastal communities are going to be uninhabitable over the next uh, two to three decades. Where are those people going to go? This year for the COP, I'm following up local topics, especially relates to developing countries, what kind of climate finance channels we need to focus on, and also focusing on uh, climate challenges like droughts and desertifications. I've covered issues uh, related to mitigation and adaptation. The Great Green Wall of Africa, which is one of the greatest adaptation stories and the most successful ones of that across the continent. The topic I focus on is uh, a US and China collaboration uh, in climate talks and China's uh, coal power phasing out. We have this political situation in Brazil that we are in the transition of two governments. I'm really looking into this story, how the new president will um, address the problem of climate change. The CMP fellowship was really helpful for me because at the start I feel really lost in all of the COP27 environment. But uh, fortunately, the trainers will help me to focus my coverage. We are all working on similar issues, but from very different perspectives, and we have very different things we focus on. So it's been great to meet people from all these regions who are bringing new angles to my own stories. It's very wonderful, it's exhausting, it's overwhelming, but also at the same time, give me a lot of perspective. Like, I will never forget about this experience. Just to have information to give to the people is really powerful because at the end, that's what we told me. And I'm glad I was part of the, the program because now I know what issues need to be covered. PJ took care of everything, absolutely everything, so that all left with is focusing on coverage. Well, I say that it's a once in a lifetime experience. I am so glad, I'm so happy. I feel like I am in the Disneyland of journalists. You know? I would say for every journalist in the world, please apply for a fellowship. You will have the experience of your life.